We just launched into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't tried playing here yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information on their VIP trial. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We have two, three, four, seven, eight, nine in BAMs, pair two, pair seven, two, five in crack, and a seven dot, and then we have a west. So I would choose the predominant pattern here. I think we're in between two, three, four, five, and seven, eight, nine. Let's let the west go and the two crack. I think we should go with big numbers. Maybe we could do five, seven, nine. Let's let the four go. So we'll gather big numbers, seven, eight, nine, maybe five, seven, nine. There's a seven and a nine. So we're gonna gather big numbers. Oh, this is gonna be a risky pass. You wanna try to mitigate the risk in your passing. You don't wanna build your opponent's hand. Let's let a five go. Maybe one, two, five. One, two, five. Maybe what we should do is keep the one and the three and play one, three, five, seven, nine in one suit. I wouldn't pass a pair. Let's let the nine crack go. Or the seven dot. Let's see. Let's let the nine crack go. If we get a five bam, we could play one, three, five, seven, nine in one suit. We got a one. One dot, one crack, two crack. Oh, look at these ones and twos. All right, we're going to have to think this through. Let's see. A lot of one, two, three. And we let one, two go. One, two, one, one, two, three. Let's let the one dot go. And then let's let the eight bam and the seven dot go. We could switch to one, two, three if they keep coming. Or if we get a five band, we could play one, three, five, seven, nine. It just seems like twos, one, two, three, keep coming back. We did end up with that seven dot. All right, we're going to turn the tables on this and we're going to go with little numbers and see if they all come back like a boomerang. Let's find out. Nine. Let's let one of the sevens go, because now our predominant pattern is one, two, three. Back sees. There they are. One, one. Okay, now we have to make a choice in here. We have one, two, one, two, three. Let's let the one dot go. Maybe we'll get the twos back. One, two, one, two. It'd be nice if we can get a white dragon. We could play that fourth hand down under consecutive run. We got a one again and a four, but the four is a little too far up. Let's go ahead and keep the one and we'll pass the four and let's see, we're doing right, so we can do the seven bam. I think we gave the seven bam to one of these other players here. So we have one, two, one, two, three, one. I think this hand wanted to be little numbers. Let's find out. We got big numbers. We got the seven back. We have three tiles to pass. That's not too bad. We're looking for little numbers. Or a dragon, red dragon. No, no, white dragon. White dragon would be nice. Oh, we got a seven. 
So West wind. Yeah, I think it w we would maybe would have been just as successful if we had kept the big numbers, but we never saw five, five bam. Anyway, we didn't see too many nines, and I don't recall eights either. So I think this is an okay result, even though we straddled the fence a little bit. Now there's a big hesitation on that west. I hope we're not stuck. Okay, we're going to let the west go right now. Seven bamboos. We'll pass. West wind. Well, maybe that seven was just bamboos. a coincidence. Nobody wants the seven. Seven dots. Or that one either. These will be safe discards anyway. Nine dots. Now here's a flower. South wind. We might be able to use that. We could do one, two in mixed suits with six flowers. One dot. We have a long way to go with flowers though. One character. We're going to pass. I wouldn't commit to a hand yet. Two dots. All right, let's see. Seven dot is out. The seven, seven bam can dots. probably go to. Nine dots. Sevens and West nines wind. all going down. Good thing we didn't keep the big numbers. North wind. Seven bamboos. Seven characters. Look at all these East big wind. numbers going down and wins. Seven bamboos. <laughs> oh, okay. Now there's a pair. West wind. Anytime you get a pair, reassess. I think in this case, because we have a pair of ones. Seven dots. Nine dots. The only way we could really use two eight and two suits is the even hand, third two from characters. the bottom. Let's see. Oh, should we take that? Let's Kong. Kong. I was thinking that we could Nine maybe do the two eight with six flowers or the one two six flowers. So the two eight six flowers is third hand from the bottom under evens and then North the second wind. hand down East under wind. consecutive run. So we have two ways to go. Two characters. Four dots. a Joker there. Oh, there's a three bam now. All right, let's let the one, let's see. Let's let this one crack go. One character. One thing I was just thinking is we could do one, two, three Green in mix suit, mix suit Kongs. We would need a joker for the one dot three though. Three characters. The other thing we could do is one bam, two crack mix suit with flowers or two eight mix Six suit. Six dots. Let's just see how this goes. Six bamboos. We, we have options, but I think either way the two bam can go. So we have one more discard Home. before we have to make a choice. Nine characters. Five characters. Kong. If we do the mixed suit Kong hand, we only need a pair of flowers versus six. Four characters. South wind. There's a joker available over here with the five. Flower. Ooh, there's Pung. a hesitation there. Okay, now we have somebody with a pung of flowers. Anytime someone does a pun of flowers, bamboos. they could be playing the six, a six flower One hand. Bamboo. So we need to keep that in mind. We're going to pass. We, we're not ready to take that. Here's an eight bam. Let's let the eight go. Eight bamboos. Maybe they're playing a two, four, six, eight hand Home. over here. Oh, eight. All right, now eight bam. Six characters. They could be playing two, four, six, eight in one suit under evens hmm. but we have sixes to the right Nine they characters. might be playing like numbers with eights over there with six flowers Red dragon six let's see three Nine flowers bamboos. i suppose they could be playing a mixed suit consecutive hand with six flowers too north they wind. may want these eights we might be able to get a joker out of those 
East wind. Over here, they're probably playing nine bamboos. Uh, like numbers with sixes and dragons. Four characters. Okay, five bam. We don't need that. Five bamboos. Pungs of sixes. One dot. Pungs of sixes and North two suits. Wind. I think they could be playing the eat like number hand with dragons. Eight characters. Seven characters. They could be playing five, six, five, six dragon. Either way, they need dragons. Six characters. Oh, they got their joker back. Three bamboos. Five, oh, let's see. Yeah, we're not ready for that. Five, six, five, six dragon is the fourth hand down on the right. Or they could be playing second hand down under any like numbers. Four bamboos. Oh, I suppose they could Four be playing bamboos. a three, six, nine hand. Oh, look, we got the eight dot. Okay, so we waited that out. One we dot. can play two eight flower, but we need lots of flowers. One All right, so dragon. on the right, three six nine dragon, third hand down. They would need white dragons for that. Green two, dragon. Three, two three cracks and two nine bams. Three characters. Oh, there's a hesitation. They're probably playing three six Mom's nine. Down. There it is. Three six nine dragon. Yep, three, six, nine, dragon. Learn how to read hands. You might be able to manage your hand and sabotage somebody from winning the game. You have to use deduction skills. Look at their exposures in the tiles they're discarding or the tiles and exposures from other players to figure out what they're playing. That's how you read hands. Here we have like numbers with eights. I was right. And they were going to need way more flowers there. Now they might have been playing two, four, six, eight, but their sixes were out in this pung from the player on the left. So I think they probably were hoping for flowers to switch to like numbers. And here, like numbers with fives and six flowers, we were not going to see more flowers. So this was going to be probably... A defense hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.